السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته معكم الأستاذ ماهر أبو صلحان من الرياض ومدارس جامعة الزرقاء ثانوية البني قسم اللغة الإنجليزية Welcome my dear students Let's continue our lessons with action back for the 8th grade of the second semester So We'll go today on student book كتاب الطالب pages 53-54 and at the end of the class we are going with some exercise in the workbook page 40 so these are the main pages that we are going to discuss for today uh, before we start let's uh, pause the video كما تعودنا دائما عزاء طالب انه نوقف الفيديو نكتب الكلمات الرئيسية ومعانيهم ما ننسى هذا الكلام now let's start with these words and we need to write them down in our notebooks and writing their, their definitions the first one is Olympic Games, as you can see from the picture here. What does it mean in English? It means a modern sports event traditionally held every four years in this, and the Olympic Games is a noun. Here, Alab Olympic. Okay. Number two, athletics. As you can see from the photo, they are the sports, and it is a noun. The type of sport that includes running, a race, jumping, throwing, etc. الألعاب القوة Athletics Okay Next As you can see from the picture here And already guess the meaning اللي هي المبارزة Okay It's a noun In which opponents fight with long thin swords سيوف Okay, next, gymnastics, you can see from this picture in front of you here, you can guess the meaning in Arabic, which means al-ab and jambas, a set of exercises that test physical strength and skill. Okay, let's move on. Medal, as you can see them here, different types of them. Which means in English, a round, flat piece of metal given to someone who won a competition. Next, chariot racing, as you can see from this guy and these horses. It, it is a, one of the, of the ancient games and the Olympic Games long time ago, but they are not using it anymore. So let's check. The definition in English An ancient sport in which two wheeled vehicles Arabat pulled by horses would race around a road. Okay. Let's check these examples because I'd like to uh, use these words in sentences which is more beneficial to our students starting with the first one only the best athletes from around the world go to the Olympic Games athletes here معناها رياضيين على فكرة number two there are lots of great runners at my athletics club three when I watch fencing I imagine what sword fighting was like hundreds of years ago I wouldn't be good at gymnastics because I can't stretch my arms and legs. Stretch بمعنى يمدد يمدد جسمه يعني. Five. Sally won a silver medal after coming a second in the race. Last one. Chariot racing looks like fun, but aren't. You afraid of being pulled along in a small vehicle by a horse? Okay. Now, before we start this lesson, look at the photos here as we explained them earlier. What are the five rings? What do they stand for? What do they represent? Mother to method. So the answer is that the, they represent the 
five continents تمثل القارات الخمس which is Europe, uh, North America, South America, Africa and Asia okay now before we start reading the passage we have two exercises of five questions about the text هاي الأسئلة إلها علاقة بالنص قبل ما نقرأ النص لازم نقرأ الأسئلة عشان نعرف إحنا ليش بنقرأ so always we read the questions before we start reading the text which is a very important technique to follow so number one read about the Olympic Games find two differences between the ancient games and the modern games لنعرف الفرق بين ancient games الألعاب القديمة والألعاب الحديثة الحالية in exercise 2 we have also 4 questions as you can see them here number 1 if you were participating in the Olympic games إذا كنت مشترك في الألعاب الأولمبية and you came second حصلت المركز الثاني which medal would you receive شو هي المدالي اللي ممكن تحصل عليها silver, bronze gold medal 2 what are the similarities ما هي التشابهات ما هي الأمور المتشابهة between the modern Olympic games and the ancient Greek games والألعاب الرياضية القديمة الإغريقية 3 do you think chess and surfing should be Olympic sports هل تعتقد أن رياضة الشطرنج والتزلج على الأمواج should be Olympic sports why or why not this is your own opinion here by the way I will leave that to you the last question what sports would you like to see included in the Olympic Games explain your choices so the third and the fourth question I will leave it to you so let's go to the passage the Olympic Games the Olympic Games are a tradition from ancient Greece, من اليونان القديمة. They took place in Athens over 2,700 years ago. The modern Olympic Games began in 1896. Many of the sports we see today were the original games. Okay. The modern Olympic Games happen every four year, four years, just as. They did in the ancient Greece. In ancient Greece, winners received a crown of olive leaves, أوراق كان اللي هو أوراق الزيتون على شكل طوق يعني to put on their heads. The modern Olympic Games started to give medals, صار يعطوهم ميداليات, gold, silver, and bronze. In uh, 1908. In ancient Greece, في اليونان القديمة, the games lasted five days, but now they last for about 16 days. Okay. Four sports were at the first modern Olympic Games and are still there now. They are athletics, swimming, fencing, and gymnastics. These are the, the, the sport there that they were first in the Olympic Games. The modern Olympic Games. Some sports that were played in the ancient games, like chariot racing, are barely even known nowadays. It doesn't exist anymore. Okay? They are not practicing it anymore. Some sports, like volleyball and basketball, were not in the Olympic Games until the 19s. يعني في بداية قبل التاسع عشر أو قبل العشرين فنسميه. In 2016 there will be two new sports, golf and rugby. They were included newly in 2016. Some sports such as chess and surfing are not Olympic games. Okay, now going back to the first question, which is about the differences between the ancient games and the, Olymp the modern games should fit between them. So, this is the answer suggested, okay? <coughs> the ancient games, winners received the crown of olive leaves, and the modern games, winners received medals. The ancient games lasted five days, and the modern games lasted for uh, 
about 16 days. Some sports from the ancient games aren't included in the modern games, such as or like chariot racing. Now let's go to the second exercise. We have these questions. We already read them. I want you to find the answers and you can come back to the video and check the answers. I put them here at the end of the lesson. Okay? You can pause the video but after writing your own answers. Now uh, we need to move to workbook page 40, exercise 2, Safha 40 in the workbook, Tedrib Thani. Are these sentences true or false? Hal Jumal Hai Sahiha Am Khata. Correct false sentences. Sahiha Jumal Khata. Bin then Stachdim Kad al Gadim al Hakin Anha. Have to, don't have to, can, can't. And the Manadil Jumal bin Stachdim Hadul. Okay? The Ula already is answered. The Ula Bahlule. Players have to use a racket in judo. Labim Stachdim racket in judo. Taran Khata. Players can't use a racket in judo. Now. Number B, women can't participate in the Olympic Games. In this case, it's impossible to participate in the Olympic Games. It's impossible to write your answers in the same way, and then check your answers here, check on the answers. The answer is false, because now we need to rewrite this sentence to you, but using have to, don't have to, or can, or can't. Okay? So, women can participate in the Olympic Games. C, People have to play some Olympic sports on court. tennis with basketball. That is true. D. People don't have to use a ball in football. In football. What do you think? Oh, of course not. So it's false. They have to. Yani without a football, you can't practice it. Okay. E. You can't compete. And surfing in the Olympic Games, of course, this is true because it is not an Olympic game. The surfing is not an Olympic game, as we read in the passage before. The last one: players can compete in chariot racing in the next Olympic Games. This is false. Players can't. It's not an Olympic game anymore. يعطيكم العافية كان معكم الأستاذ مهر أبصر هاني إذا عندكم أي أخطاء أحد أو أي أسئلة شاركونا في الماسنجر في على الفيسبوك على صفحتنا رياضة ومدارس جامعة الزرقاء على اليوتيوب أو على الفيسبوك أو على